You are welcome in the island of Solution. You are welcome in the area of solution. Meaning, whatever you have, whatever your mind might tell you as holy or as holders that you might be carrying throughout the year, throughout the month, throughout the week, you are in the arena of solution. Where you have to table this problem, you have to table this words to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the owner of this ministry, Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Let us be seated. No limitation to faith. No means nothing. Nothing whatsoever can prevent a child of God who has faith. Limitation means no limitations, no obstacle, no barrier to your faith. And as you know, in Hebrews 11, 6, faith is the only thing that pleases God. Faith is the only thing that pleases God. Without faith, meaning without faith, the Lord is not pleased. To please God, to have faith in Him. And He is telling us from that thing we have, that no limitation to faith. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our faith is for Him. And God is limitless. It's a God that has no limits. Meaning, it therefore means that our faith can never have any limits. Because our faith is what's in Him. Blood of Jesus. Luke chapter 19, verses 1 to 5. I read in Jesus' name. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was short, he could not see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him. Since Jesus was coming that way, when Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I will stay at your house today. May the Lord bless his word. Zacchaeus did not see his physical appearance that he was shot. That would be an, a, a hindrance, a limitation to him. Zacchaeus did not see that he is a wealthy man, a rich man. Why should he be running and climbing up from a tree just to see Jesus? Zacchaeus saw that for him to draw the attention of Jesus, he must humble himself, he must submit himself because he needed repentance. Meaning, for us to achieve, to have our faith, to be limitless, we must repent. We must repent. We must not do as the physical situation around us. Physical situation here means don't look at obstacles. Don't look at challenges. Don't be afraid. Don't be careful. Those things the enemy bring them to be a hindrance for our faith. Zacchaeus came above those things. They overcame them. And the 
attention of our Lord and, Jesus, and Savior Jesus Christ was drawn to him. What is your offer? What is acting, acting as a barrier to you, to your faith? What is the hindrance to your faith today, children of God, as we are seated here? Is it fear? Is it discouragement? Is it destruction? Is it your life that you are living that is sinful? Jesus is telling us that for you to have faith, for his attention to be drawn towards you, it doesn't look at your sins. It doesn't look at your past. That is why the book of 2 Corinthians 5, verse 7 tells us it's not by sight, not by sight, but by faith that we worship the Lord. Because when you have to look at the things that happen that are around you, that are worrying you, your focus, your faith to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will be limited. Let us take a very good example as we have heard in the book of Luke, which is talking about Zacchaeus. I will take us to a man who Is 
daughter and the family were not going to pay taxes. He went from one person to the other. Then the elder brother saw him and was not happy and told him, what have you come to do here? That he should go back and take care of the sheep. And she took a decision 
a hard decision and say, I must go and meet Jesus. And when I meet him, my problem will be solved. She did not fear the crowd. She did not mind about her situation, whether she was smelling, whether she was tired. She said, I must touch Jesus. And when she touched the hem of Jesus' dress, she was healed. And the Bible tells us, Jesus felt power left him. And when he asked his disciples, what is happening? Who has touched him? The, the disciples were worried that this is a crowd. Many people are pushing, many people are touching him. Because there was a touch of faith that touched Jesus. Other people who touched him, it was not the same kind of touch like the one, the woman with the issue of blood touched Jesus. She did not find any obstacle. She did not yield to fear. She did not yield to the crowd that was preventing her from touching Jesus. And she was healed. What are you coming for? Into the area of solution this morning. What are you present that you want to meet our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ today? The healer, the deliverer, the one that blesses, the one that gives us everything that we need. What is your worry? Are you going to put worry and obstacle to your problem in meeting Jesus today? This is a woman who had problems. She never yielded to any obstacle. She never yielded to any barrier. But she came and met Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Thank you. 